A knowledge graph is an organized representation of information that stores the relationships between data points. Search engines, like Google, use knowledge graphs. And when you enter a query, knowledge panels like this one will gather facts and information, displaying them together to give you context. This treats information as a network of connected entities and returns results that are tailored to the context of your query, rather than just simply matching keywords. A Neo4j knowledge graph has three key elements. There's the data, the relationships, and what we call the organizing principles. Each data node will store details about an entity, like uh, properties of a person, a place, an object, and then relationships will link these nodes of data together. Labels classify the types of nodes and relationships. Mapping out information and relationships in this way is extremely useful. If your company handles large volumes of data, it might be siloed between different parts of the organization, different departments, but connecting this data using a knowledge graph can reveal patterns in these data sets that were previously hidden. Examples of that can be identifying an important node that's highly connected, or a ring of relationships that are exposing a, a money laundering scheme, or a cluster of nodes that reveals a growing community. It's also easy to add data to your knowledge graph. It's not like a static snapshot. So the dynamic framework will automatically update and evolve with new relationships. Finally, the organizing principle will add the business context to the data and relationships in your graph. You might have heard of the terms ontology or semantic layer. These are types of organizing principles. Other examples of these are, for example, domain knowledge. This might be industry specific or proprietary knowledge to a company. This can be fraud detection in financial services or research areas for pharmaceuticals. Knowledge graphs are also extremely useful for machine learning and Gen AI applications. And that's because they capture the context and the organization of the data in a single structure. But the best way to store and query large amounts of data is to use a graph database. To find out more about building knowledge graphs using graph databases, visit Neo4j Graph Academy.